ALS is a life-threatening disease, a progressive disease that attacks nerve cells in the brain and spinal cord, destroying motor neurons. I encountered this disease when my grandpa was diagnosed in May of 2007. The history of this disease started in 1939. ALS stands for amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. Another name for ALS is Lou Gehrig's disease. It got Lou Gehrig's name from the famous baseball player who was diagnosed with it. Quitting baseball following after the diagnosis, he died two years later. From the beginning, they had tried relating the symptoms to others who had died similarly. They also tried to figure out what they all had in common to get the disease. The history started with a baseball player, but it didn't end there. This disease is still today an incurable disease. Coming across those with a similar disease, they contemplate if head injuries have anything to do with it. It is still hard for doctors to define this disorder. They tie up symptoms from that of traumatic brain injuries, such as sleep troubles, poor memory, fatigue, headache, and lack of concentration. The disease itself has its own symptoms. As the muscles become weak, most patients end up in wheelchairs and are there until they are bedridden. As soon as the muscles in the mouth have stopped working, most patients need a feeding tube. This all occurs until the disease finishes the job by paralyzing the body to death. The ALS Association was established in 1985. By leading the way in global research, they provide assistance for people with ALS through a nationwide network of chapters. Coordinating multidisciplinary care through certified clinical care centers, fostering government partnerships, and the most important part, they are looking for a cure. The association has raised over $67 million to find new treatments. They have charity walks to raise money for ALS. They are walking for those who can't.